Showing us how to brighten up any room with a few flowers and some lights is our little flower that always lights up every room. Ray Provenzano. Right. I'll go ahead and take that. <laughs> Easy to brighten up the room at the Texas Tennis Fair. They got to rise, everything. But before we do that, to help us end pet homelessness, sorry, homelessness, hard, Mark, hard, hard for to me say. to say. To help end pet homelessness, Hallmark Channel's Pet Project is partnering up with shelters across the country to find every animal a loving family and a forever home. So proud that we're doing this. Today we are joined by Jackie from No Kill Kern Dog Rescue that is located in Bakersfield, California, and she has a very playful puppy who says, I want to come to your house and stay with yes. you forever. Yes, definitely. Marsha is looking for a forever home. She's a six-week-old terrier mixed puppy that was saved off the streets of Lamont along with oh her mom gosh. and four other siblings. Oh. She is going to be available for adoption in oh. just a couple weeks here. That's her playing with her siblings, having a good time in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> They're very playful puppies, but Marsha especially is very confident and very playful. She'd make a very good addition to any home. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jackie. Well, you, you guys are going on tour. Do you need a, a mascot? Yeah. <laughs> Don't between let my daughter see that dog. Yeah. <laughs> I, think have, I think we have like seven dogs between. Three well, or after or today, you're going to have eight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jackie. And if you live in the Bakersfield area and you would like to rescue a pet, please be sure to check out No Kill Kern Dog Rescue. All right, Aww. Maria. Yes. What's your inspiration behind this beautiful piece <gasps> Well, of you know, I feel so fortunate to be working with such creative people in this house. So um, actually, Orly did this beautiful DIY on Friday, um, yeah. as you can see oh, here. Oh, the mirror. Uh, the yeah. mirror. Yeah, that was and, the ombre um, look. Yeah, and yeah. so I was inspired by that. And you know, I love having, I have a bajillion fake flowers around. And um, now after, you know what, I like to repurpose a lot of the things I've used and these lights I used in um, a project recently too. So I love to repurpose and then get inspiration from everything around me. So that I kind of just meshed it all together. Hey, wait, us. I'm a little, my head is twirled. So you work with flake, f fake flowers, but you're really pregnant. And you <laughs> work with fake pregnancy. <laughs> But oh, real flower. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. Exactly. I'm There's, just trying yeah. to get that. That's true. That was actually, that, I like that. I, I see. I was wondering where you were going oh, with that, but well, I got it now. Yeah. That's not a prosthetic. Yeah. That's for that's real. That one's real. Yeah. That one's that's real. For real. Is a real okay. DIY going on. So, and, which, by the way, that's <laughs> the, the, if that actually, if you give birth here, that will be the best DIY yeah, yeah. we've ever done. Perfect. Are you going to show us But truthfully, I'll show you how to make this first. This would be super cute in a nursery. This would be so cute in a nursery. So we'll get started. Um. So. So yes, that's sort of the inspiration behind it, as you can see the beautiful flowers there. So this is just a frame, and you guys, you can do use any size frame that you want. And then this is actually garden fence. Um, I was trying to think of an alternative to um, chicken wire because I was trying to think of how to like stick the flowers, you know, in yeah. in this whole thing. So and it's plastic, so it's really easy to use. You can just yeah, use a pair of scissors, and then you just need some fake flowers, and then um, the lights that I'm obsessed with now. And I'll go ahead and get more into that. And then some wire cutters, some tape, and then mm -hmm. um, some uh, some of your fake, fake flowers. flowers. Some of your some my flowers. fake flowers yeah. that I love so much. Okay. And then yeah, so and then what you do is you take uh, your you know the fence and cut it accordingly to your um, right. whatever and this frame is a you're garden using. center, right? You can get I, yes, I got like that a at um, just a garden store, yeah. uh, local anything, and it's really inexpensive. So and yeah, then is there different and then types if you have a green thumb, you can go actually use Are there it. There different what? types of this, or you know they do have metal ones. Um, right. I've but again, it'll plastic, cut you. I, then, yeah, I agree. then Stick you don't have plastic. to wear gloves. You don't have to worry. This is really like you can feel this. It's yeah. really like easy yeah. to work with. Perfect. And so then I used a staple gun just to put um, uh, to secure it. Okay. So you can actually use a hammer and nails if you don't have a staple gun. Um, I don't know, Sarah, if you have a staple gun or you guys have any on uh, you know your bus. Actually, you have. Actually, you have construction in you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, see, there you go. They were construction. You've got some hammers and nails. Yeah. Perfect. And by the way, he owned an art gallery, so perhaps he can hang this in his. You know what? I yeah. guarantee you yeah. could do that. So then um, I did find yeah. out that the best way to do this is to put it up. Now, um, you can put on some, anything that's really going to hold it up. I mean, we have these little, like, uh, plastic things. But then you take your flower. So the reason why um, I like to do this is because when you take your flower, you can put it in. And some, some of these, you know, with the wires hanging, I cut them with the uh, wire cutters. And I already had some pre-cut from previous projects, and I don't necessarily want them all to be flat. So I have this extra one here, and I just use some of this. You can use any tape, 
you want. Like this is this is what no one's going to see the back. This is electrical tape. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's basically. Yeah, I liked it because it was green. That was okay. So, kind of so that was the science behind my That's thinking. Right. Um, so then you can do it this way. Or if you do have flowers that you cut a little bit shorter, what you can do is, like I have this one shorter here, you mm -hmm. can use a glue gun and you can just apply some of the, the hot glue around it, a generous amount, and yeah. then what you can do, so you can do both. and yeah, and then you know what, there's like really that. no science behind how to do this besides I like the big flowers because it really, you can use less of them to fill. Mm -hmm. And then I That big one, yes, yeah, put the big one in exactly. there. Exactly, isn't that pretty? Yeah, you can snip that off though. Yeah. Here you and go. A great, yeah, there you go. You Pick know how to involved. use that. Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then I also, a good idea too, is to keep the uh, leaves. Because the leaves, once you put some glue on them, will stick as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cut that for you. And then, oh my yeah, gosh, ready. you are so sweet. You were able to do that. That was really that. good. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm so proud wow, of you. Look at that. Wow. See, how be yeah. see how beautiful that is? Go ahead, Sarah. That see, is? don't be intimidated, yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Everyone yes, you can. Now. No matter how much you guys help, we are not going to try singing. <laughs> no. Okay. no. You can try to jump into our business, but we're going to just leave the singing up to you. Do you have a preference? No, wherever you like. And Sarah, I know. Oh, Sarah, and then this one, I'm going to put this. Oh my gosh. So, how do you light? What was your. So. Yes, to light, so to light up, I kind of had that, that nursery idea in mind if I wanted like a night light or something like that. But if you throw a party and you did a really big one of these. Oh my goodness. And you know, so and when you keep big. in mind for your flowers as well, make sure you're kind of working with whatever decor, like color scheme, you know, that you like. I found just all these beautiful flowers at the craft supply store and um, go online and get some coupons. <laughs> <laughs> and so, if you're like me. And then, so all you do, um, I like to pre-light them before I put them in. And Why? so you can kind of see where they go. It's like right. when you when you put um, oh, lights on a Christmas tree. You want and then all you need to do is put them through the back as I drop it. Just like that. It's okay. They, the pregnant lady should not be picking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and so they fit right through. And you just I want to I usually pull them all the way through. Right. But just to kind of give you guys an example. So and then, then, how do you secure the, or how do you recommend or suggest securing the battery? The back. So you know what? What's so great about? Um, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. you. Um, so what's so great about these? These are battery powered, so they're portable. Um, so you can secure it in any a number of ways. So you could use zip ties, tape. You know, really anything. It depends yeah. on where you're going to hang it. You just so, have to have access to the battery. Exactly. Right. Just yeah. Just okay. have the battery. So as you can see, they're just like a little battery pack, yeah. and you could either like just set them back here or. Could you tuck them into the front like, in the flower? We well, probably could. What are, what are these but you lights? know what? No one's going to see the back, so it doesn't these matter. Are, yeah, they're these are just like, like I mean, look, they're, they're just like a wired light. They have really yeah, the bendy, like the wired light. They also do. Really cool. Yeah. So you could you could make oh, them jewelry as well. Sarah. And they don't. I like the idea. It's I not like going to burn them, right? No, it's not. not. Hot at all. No, these are good. If you if you touch them, they're not. You they're know not what I mean? Hot at all. How much would something like this cost, Maria? Oh, for this, I you know what? Because you do have a cost with the frame, I would say it's around fifty dollars. But like I said, you can usually get a lot of. Is, um, you know, oh, with the coupons, but look how beautiful that is at night. Gorgeous. So, but let me ask you this: It will cost us about fifty. How much could we sell it for in your art gallery? <laughs> it's priceless. Exactly. Yeah.